Now to that big headline about a contractor for the NSA arrested by the FBI accused of stealing top secret material. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross is here. And Brian, sounds like at first read this could be another Edward Snowden, but perhaps this one's different? It, it may well be, Amy, and good morning. Senior U.S. intelligence officials are calling the suspect more weirdo than whistleblower. But the fact that once again a contract employee at the NSA is accused of taking the country's most sensitive secrets out of the building is setting off alarms. It all happened at NSA headquarters outside Washington, D.C. In a criminal complaint, the FBI says 51-year-old Harold Martin used his top-secret clearance as a contractor for the Booz Allen firm to download and remove huge amounts of top-secret codes and information. Those who are sworn to protect it should not intentionally take that information. But it comes just three years after another NSA Booz Allen contractor, Edward Snowden, portrayed in this movie as a heroic whistleblower. I feel like I'm made to do this. Was able to do much the same thing, and then he made public the NSA secrets that he stole. When you download this kind of top secret information off the NSA network into your own computer or into a thumb drive, alarms should go off. Apparently, they didn't. In this latest case, the FBI says it discovered the stolen secrets in a woodshed behind Martin's home in Maryland. His wife declined to answer questions. Thank you very much. But his lawyer says Martin is a man who loves his country and did not betray it. That's something the FBI is still investigating. And so far, officials said they've seen no indication Martin had any connection to a foreign government. And unlike Snowden, he's not been charged with espionage. And speaking of Snowden, he is still in Russia and charges against him still pending. That's right. And his supporters have launched a campaign to get a presidential pardon for him. But so far, President Obama has given no indication he'll get a free pass and that, in fact, he should come back and stand trial on espionage charges.